In this video, I'll show you how you can package your helper utility Python scripts as Blender add-ons so you can easily share them with the community, your friends, and your colleagues. As an example, I'll be using Curtis Holt's Easy BPY Python module. It is a perfect example since it's a single file that contains a lot of great utility functions that help you rapidly develop your Blender Python scripts. The way that you currently install Easy BPY is you get the Python script from one of the available locations, and then you copy that script into the special scripts folder that allows Blender Python to access this when you're developing your scripts. There's nothing wrong with this way of installation, but we can improve the user experience. We can improve the user experience by harnessing something that's second nature to any Blender user, and that is installing add-ons. We can wrap our Python script into an add-on and give the people who are interested in using our utility functions this add-on so they can just easily install it. Let's take a look at Curtis's EasyBPY repository on GitHub. It contains a number of files, but the file that we care about is the EasyBPY.py file. This file is the one that contains all the functionality that we care about, and we're going to be basically wrapping this file. I've created a fork of Curtis's repository, and the only thing that I did is add this init.py file, and this is going to be the definition of the add-on that's going to be wrapping that easyppy.py file. Let's take a look inside. The add-on definition isn't really big. It's under 40 lines of code, and it probably could be a lot smaller if I would remove all the prints and extra logic I've added. The basic logic right here is, of course, defining the add-on itself through the BL info dictionary, and of course, the register and unregister functions that contain the main logic that allows us to wrap the EasyBPY Python module. And the thing that we're doing here is just adding the path to the add-on into the sys path. So this will allow Python to import from our add-on folder, meaning that if we put any Python script into their add-on folder, it will be automatically available to any script that we run inside of our Blender. So as soon as we install this add-on and hit the enable button, this function right here will run and it will add our add-on folder into the system path. And after that, we'll be able to use EasyBPY. Let's go ahead and put everything into a zip file and create an add-on. Okay, I've created a zip file that contains all the files in that repository, including the init.py file that defines our add-on. And now let's go ahead and hop on over into Blender and open the scripting workspace, hit new right here to create our new script. And let's define a very simple script that will add a cube into the scene using the EasyBPY Python module. Okay, and here is the script. It's very simple. We're just importing EasyBPY and then running the create cube function that's defined in that module. Now let's go ahead and clear everything from the scene by hitting AX and then delete. And let's go ahead and run the script without doing anything. And you can see we get an error that there is no EasyBPY module and we can fix this by running the installation of the wrapper add-on we just created. Let's go ahead and go into edit, references, and then go ahead and hit install and navigate into the folder that contains that add-on that we just created. And I'm gonna go ahead and install this add-on and you can see it has successfully installed. We can see that in the UI. I'm gonna go ahead and click the enable button. And after we did that, EasyBPY is now available across all our Python scripts. I'm gonna go ahead and click exit out of that. And let's see if this actually works. I'm gonna go ahead and run the script. And you can see that successfully added the cube into the scene. Something that could be improved with this add-on is add the ability to check GitHub repository if there are any new releases and automatically download them and present them to the user. One thing to note is you don't have to have just a single Python file that you want to distribute. If you have a whole Python package that contains Python modules that you want to share with the community or someone else, you can also do that as well. I have a BPY building blocks Python package that contains a number of modules with a ton of great functionality and I make this Python package available through pip or the add-on as you see on your screen. Now before you go, I wanted to underline one thing. This technique is great if you want to quickly share something between your friends or your colleagues, but this technique won't work great if you plan to ship your utility code alongside with a production add-on. In that case, you should really consider packaging up your utility code into that add-on that is using your utility functions. Now, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Make sure to hit the like button and I'll see you next time.